This is part one of a three-part video series. Enjoy. Love it. Such a strong horn section too. Amazing placement there. Hurt like this. Her vowel placement has to be so perfect because she's using a really large ratio of chest in her chest mix right there. Mm. Gorgeous. And no R in her hurt. Mm. Tight drums. Love that growl. Little grace note there on this. Wow. That's a hard vowel. This. beautiful. So the idea behind this series is actually to talk about Kelly's ability to sing through a broad spectrum of musical genres. And the next one is Dream On from Aerosmith. Let's see how she does with this one. Every time that I look in the mirror, all these lines on my face getting clearer. Mm. Gorgeous. Own. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, let's talk about what just happened there on her. She did a beautiful chest mix there, but then at the end, she fell back down into full chest, which is really hard to do. You got to listen to it again to really appreciate it. I'm going to point to when she does it. Just a little under pitch there, but she's so good. Yeah! That's full chest there. Little melodic variation here. Love it. Beautiful vocal bend upwards. Oh, I love the double tone at the end. That was so good. And did you know Kelly Clarkson has sold 25 million albums and 45 million singles worldwide? She rose to fame after winning the first season of American Idol in 2002. <sighs> That's what I was going to say. Anyway, moving on. When I was a little girl, I had a red dog. Only doll I've ever owned. Yes, a little more rock in this version. Beautiful open vowel there. Something I love that's so hallmarkish about Kelly's voice is the open vowels that she takes the opportunity to just boom and resound on. Everywhere! And the vibrato just comes in so clean and clearly at the end. Beautiful ornamentation there. Man, a drummer. Woo! Ah, great vocal bend upward. Yes, so good. Just a girl, no doubt. So a fun fact about this is that all of these songs are fan chosen in Kelly mm. Lots of vocal grit there, cries. Don't you think I know exactly where I just just this world is forcing me to hold your hand. I'm just a girl. 
Interesting arrangement for this one. I like it. to G sharp, that's a six. That's a very interesting interval. You got to have a really good ear to hit intervals that aren't obvious, like fifths and thirds. But let me be. And I love how she held it and then wilted off the note. That was beautiful. Nice, up to B. Love the dissonance there between that note and the chord underneath. I really like this arrangement. What do you think? Ooh, Kelly, I really like that. I think that might have been my favorite out of everything she did so far. So a couple of really interesting things I find about Kelly Oki are they tape six Kelly Clarkson shows per week and a Kelly Oki for each one. The band can play each song in three separate keys and the key they end up playing on depends completely upon Kelly's voice. Yeah. Oh, I hate that chick. Let's keep going. Ooh, Carrie Underwood before he cheats. This is a classic, guys. I think their voices are perfect for each other as far as covers are concerned. Mm. Love that. Ugh. Okay, so the only thing I would change is how she breathed after in. Come my name in, two is. I know she's moving, going downstairs, so that's probably why, but I would have just preferred that line to be continued. Everything else, though, that you love so much about Carrie Underwood's song, you find here in Kelly's own version. Her booming, huge chest voice, her amazing, crystal clear, and yet completely evenly undulating vibrato. Evenly undulating vibrato. Say that three times fast. It's all there, and it's and it, so her own, and yet everything that you love about the original is also perfectly intact. That's the mark of a really great cover. Ah. Ugh, look at her when she gets there like that. Woo! She's someone who really, really sings from her toes up, as my dad always told me. Now there's a song that I absolutely love that Kelly Clarkson sings that I am reacting to next. You gotta click on this video and check it out.